By the end of this video, you'll have VS Code set up for your Unity project and you'll be able to open your project in VS Code like this. Do code completion like this. And also have intelligence, meaning if something is wrong, VS Code will know. So let me remove all of this for the sake of the video and if you find the video helpful, please like the video if you love it. Subscribe if you want to support, you can do it on Patreon if you want to join the community, you can do it on Discord and yeah, let's get started. Now that we have removed Visual Studio and all the features, I'm going to go to my website, then write VS Code. You can click here if you want and then download the stable version of it. So now in my case, it's already downloaded, so I won't do that. Download it and then I will just go and start installing it. So just hit next, next, next. Uh, if you want, you can create a start menu. No, no. Okay, I want to create a desktop version and both of these as well. So it's basically like this. If I, let's say, go into a folder and right click. So more, there will be open with Visual Studio Code option here, as well as if I go to here and go to my terminal, I can write code and dot to open it in Visual Studio Code. So those are the features I think both of them give, and I just want that, and I want the desktop app as well, so I'm just gonna hit next, next, and hit install. While that is installing, I'm going to open up my Unity Hub, and I'm gonna open this by the way. So once it is done, hit finish it'll open up and what i want is in my case so everything has already been set up now because this is the web developer version of it what you can do in visual studio code is that go here and select profiles and go to create profiles so i'm going to create game dev profile right so that it will be completely different even the designs will be different so here in this profile i will do game dev stuff but after i do that i'm just going to close this now first thing you need to check is go to your windows go to your package manager although nowadays that package is already installed but if it is not you need to install this visual studio not studio editor by the way visual studio code editor so if it is not installed hit install by going here going to unity registry and you'll just find it at the end about here see visual studio code editor then go to edit preference go to external tools and in my case visual studio code has already been selected if it is not you'll see it here if you don't see it here then what we do is that is why i just selected the desktop option just go to your visual studio right click hit open file location then i'm gonna drag it up here my bad drag it up here and just copy this the reason why is because it is not in program files not in these two folders you have to go inside your user then your username then your uh where did it go app data local then there is a programs here i think program ship programs then you'll find microsoft visual studio code here so instead of doing that hassle just copy this and then go to your unity and again preference and if you don't find it just go to browse and just paste it there hit enter you'll find that click on code say okay click on reset argument if you have any argument here to get resetted and set on regenerate program files now once that is done go to your asset and open C sharp project when that happens what should happen is it should ask for you to should have asked for you to like install C sharp extension fine now just write C sharp and you should find that extension now we will just install it so this is the first extension we install while that is installing i will also install it. okay before we do that so now C sharp and omni sharps this intelligence only works because of dotnet core so it is saying that dotnet core is not here and a quick and easy fix is just go to the website and open it 
you will find .NET Core to download here. You will just download it like this. In my case, it has already been downloaded, so I'm not going to do that, and I'm just going to install it. So once you download that, just go and install .NET SDK. So the moment it is fully installed, it will basically stop worrying about that. So let it install. And while we're doing that, just go here and write Unity. The moment you write Unity, what's going to happen is you'll get Unity code snippets. And this does the code completion stuff that I showed you, as you can see here. So I'll just install it. Now, both of them has been installed. What should happen is we opened that project from Unity. So it should work. But if you don't see a Fire Emblem here, it is installed, but we need to probably restart our VS Code. So the two things have been installed. That is mostly all we need for it to work. So I'm just going to cut it now. Now just go here and just to be clear, go to your preference and just do regenerate project files. Really makes it more clear. All right. After that, go here. We'll see this Fire Emblem and if it gives any problem, we'll know after that. So there's a problem with IntelliSense and it is saying show output basically go here. So I'm going to click on show output. Now you will see that the kind of problem will always be there. It's saying error, the reference assemblies for .NET framework version 4.7.1 was found missing. And all you need to do is control click this website. When you do that, you go to the download page again and instead of .NET 7.0, go and find .NET 4.7.1. Click on developer pack. You will get a download file. Just download it. It will look something like this. In my case, I have already downloaded it. So I will go to the download and I am going to repair it. It has already been installed, but I don't know why it doesn't work. So just in your case, just download it and install it. So the moment you do that again, remove it. And just to be sure, just do that two things again. Preference, regenerate code, and then finally open it with C sharp project. Now it should say no problem. Yep, no problem anymore. And now IntelliSense works. To see if IntelliSense worked or not, do basically my bad, do this. So if it says there's a problem while you do this, IntelliSense has started working. And one more thing you can do is write something like if and inside the bracket write x is greater than y. It should say there's a problem on both x and y. See? Yep. If that is happening, then your code is now working and has IntelliSense. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you like the video. Smash the like button, hit subscribe and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.